This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the factors that affect the strength of the metallic bond. So let's begin the video by looking at the factors. The first factor is the charge on the ion. The second is the ionic radius of the ion. And the third is the number of delocalized electrons. So next we look at how these factors affect the strength of the metallic bond. In this table, we have data for the group one metals. Because they're all located in group 1 of the periodic table, they all have a 1 plus charge. So the charge on the ion is the same for all metals. However, if we look at the data for the ionic radius, we can see that it increases down the group. With lithium having the smallest ionic radius and cesium having the largest. And if we look at the data for the melting points, we can see that lithium has the highest melting point and cesium has the lowest. So from the ionic radius data, we can see that lithium has the smallest ionic radius. So lithium has the highest melting point of the group 1 elements because it has the smallest ionic radius. And cesium has the lowest melting point of the group 1 elements because it has the largest ionic radius. So to summarize, the smaller the ionic radius, the stronger the metallic bond and the higher the melting point. Next we look at the effect of the charge on the ion and the ionic radius. So in this table we have data for two metals, sodium and magnesium. Sodium is a group 1 element, therefore it has a 1 plus charge, and magnesium is a group 2 element, therefore it has a 2 plus charge. So magnesium has a higher charge on the ion, and it also has more delocalized electrons. If we compare the ionic radii, we can see that magnesium has a smaller ionic radius than sodium. And if we compare the melting points, we can see that the melting point of magnesium is higher than that of sodium. So here we can see the effect of all three factors. Magnesium has a higher charge on the ion, it has more delocalized electrons, and it has a smaller ionic radius than sodium. And this results in a stronger metallic bond and a higher melting point. So to summarize, the strength of the metallic bond depends on three factors the charge on the ion, the number of delocalized electrons, and the ionic radius. The higher the charge on the ion, the more delocalized electrons, and the smaller the ionic radius, the stronger the metallic bond, and the higher the melting point.